Hello friends, welcome to Meet the New Books. This is Fatima from the Artist Library. In this video, I will share a list of books recommendations for your children to read. I have fiction and non-fiction books for children 8 to 12, and I have brand new picture books for children 4 to 7. So let's get started. For the non-fiction books, I have two recommendations, Climate Action and Finish the Fight. The first non-fiction book is Climate Action by Simon Simon. Climate change, global warming, and natural disasters are real. We are all affected by the climate change, but there is still hope. This book is introducing the problem and the solution to the climate change. So if you would like to learn, comprehend, and or take action to help reduce global crisis, this book would be a fantastic choice. This book can be useful for environmental science and biology courses is an amazing choice to share in the classroom and for homeschooling for children six and up. The second nonfiction book for today is Finish the Fight This book is written by the staff of the New York Times, including Veronica Chambers, Jennifer Chesler, Amisha Badnani, Jennifer Harlan, Sandra E. Garcia, and Vivian Wan. This informative book teaches children and even adults the history of the fight for women's rights. Finish the Fight should be read by anyone interested in civil rights, women's rights, and human rights. I recommend this powerful book for children 8 to 12. For the fiction books, I have two recommendations for today, The In-Between and Spindlefish and Stars. The In-Between, written by Rebecca K. S. Ansari, author of The Missing Piece of Charlie O'Reilly. This fictional book is a good choice if you like character development, spooky, mystery, and richer imagination that take you somewhere between life and death. I recommend this fiction book for children 8 to 12 who would like to explore tough themes and actions. My second recommendation for fiction books is Spenderfish and Stars by Christian M. Andrews. The story of this book is wonderful. The characters, the writing, and vocabulary are impressive. One of the characters is part of a well-known Greek myth. This fantasy book is recommended for children 8 to 12. For the brand new picture books, I have three recommendations for children 4 to 7. The first title for today is Me and Mama by Casby A. Cabrera. This poetic book 
is an amazing combination between lyrical writing and colorful illustrations. It's a lovely story about a little girl who loves to spend a rainy day with her mama. I recommend this book to children 4 to 7 years old. And if you are a mom, I highly recommend this book to celebrate your happy family relationship with your children. My second recommendation for picture books is Canberski by Ryman Antrobus, illustrated by Bali Dunbar. The story is about a little bear who is just discovering his hearing issues. This book is perfect for children 4 to 7 years old to get a basic and simple understanding of deafness and hearing loss. The touching text made me tear up and Polly Dunbar illustrations are a perfect match. My third recommendation is Almost Time. Written by Gary Dishmit and Elizabeth Stickney. Illustrated by G. Brian Karras. This brand new picture book is about patience. It's about waiting for the sap to start running and for the loose tooth to fall out. What a wonderful story that can be used for in the classroom or at home to teach the maple sugaring process and the advantage of waiting and be patient for the upcoming events, time or season. I recommend this book for children 4 to 7. So if you are interested in these books, you can put hold through our catalog by visiting altislibrarynorwich.org or by calling 860-889-2365 extension 114. Thank you for watching. See you next time with a new list of brand new books recommendations for children here in the Artist Library YouTube channel.